I haven't made a video game. I've had a dental emergency which means when I talk, I currently sound like this. She sells seashells by the seashore. The shells she sells are seashells, I'm sure. The lisp is not conducive to making particularly compelling YouTube videos, and I am aware that having dental problems puts me squarely in the British stereotype of having bad teeth. Having said that, I won't let that stop me from getting a video out to all of you wonderful people. So what I thought I'd do is go through a few free text-to-speech options for anyone looking for a synthesized voice in their video game. Let's talk game design. When we discuss computer-generated voices, you might immediately think of GLaDOS from the Portal series. Oh, hi. So, how are you holding up? Because I'm a potato. But her voice isn't actually text-to-speech synthesizer. It's actress Ellen McLean, overlaid with some technical edits by an audio engineer. I, by contrast, am not voiced by actress Ellen McLean. Sorry to disappoint you. Ironic side note, in order to generate this specific paragraph, I had to complete a CAPTCHA that had a tick box stating, I am not a robot. Having heard the voice, I'm not so sure. Other examples of synthesized voices include the villagers in Animal Crossing, who speak to you in a variety of garbled letter pronunciations, mixed together to form sentences, in a way that eventually makes sense, but where you still need to read the text to understand the meaning. A bit like talking to a politician. And who among us can forget the charming, if somewhat nonsense, wobbly noises made by the cast of Banjo-Kazooie? <coughs> Gruntilda's puns, Banjo's dopey personality and Kazooie seemingly just being annoyed that she has to be there at all, were all carried by a series of single pitch-shifted voice clips, played back-to-back -back in order to replicate a speech pattern and help sell the character's identity to us. But these aren't quite what we mean when we're talking about synthesized voices. The inspiration for this video came from a news article I read, about how developers of a mod for The Witcher 3 had managed to create entirely new lines of dialogue from samples of the original voice acting, leading to the sensationalist idea that one day, maybe synthesizers such as this one could replace real, human voice actors altogether. Now, this video isn't using the same technology that was in that mod. I have neither the time nor the patience to feed 3 billion samples of my own voice into an AI to try and replicate the way that I talk. But I thought it was at least an interesting concept to start with, and that I could go from the most basic implementation of that idea and at least construct a coherent YouTube video with the aid of synthesized speech. Which is what I'm doing now. You might be thinking, okay Zane, I get that your mouth is currently unable to create an S sound without spitting up 14 gallons of saliva over your keyboard, but what uses this to me, as a solo game developer? Well, obviously, I don't think any of these examples are a particularly good choice for replacing real human voice acting at the moment. However, if you're making a game with a robot or AI character, or even an entire robotic cast, you might well be able to produce a believable back and forth of dialogue with this sort of implementation. Or you could be participating in a game jam and think that your entry might benefit from some quick and dirty voice narration while keeping within the rules and scope of the event. Or maybe you're a game developer who would like to start a successful devlog series, like mine, which you should go and watch, because you want to get into the lucrative YouTube market and make enough money to do what I am doing, which is editing this video on the deck of my luxury yacht in the Caribbean while people feed me grapes and fan me with giant palm leaves. If one of these examples sounds like the kind of voice you would like to have narrating your content in an engaging way, Maybe you can join me out here and together we can go and build an evil base in a volcano and take over the world, which is, as we all know, the end goal of YouTube. Either way, while text-to-speech synthesis clearly has a long way to go in terms of natural-sounding voices, and the best results come from hours of sample recordings fed into a machine learning algorithm, along with a juicy and prohibitively expensive price tag, there should hopefully be something in this random collection of words that you found either useful or entertaining. Links to all of the services used will be listed in the description, and if you do decide to use one, please make sure you read all of their terms and conditions properly, as well as be aware of of having to download any extra software or hidden fees that might come after a free trial. Everything in this video was created entirely for free, but many of these services will limit what you can do without payment, so do your research before committing to anything major. If you've liked this video, then please like the video you just liked to show you liked it, and then subscribe for more videos like the one you liked, since you liked it, and I'll see you next time when hopefully I'll be in possession of all of my teeth, and I'm thinking, hey, let's talk game design.